In this video, I will show you how to farm ZK Sync Era airdrop and you better hurry because the token is speculated to drop in May. Now, why am I talking about ZK Sync is because end of 2023 and all the way, all the beginning of 2024, we've seen a series of highly lucrative crypto airdrops. I've done a video on Polygon ZK EVM and this, I'm making one on ZK Sync Era because these two are my big bets as to what will be the next uh, sizable airdrop. Before we get to the step-by-step -step process, I wanna mention this. You might have missed on Wormhole, you might have missed on Camino, you might have missed on Jupiter or Portal or any of these sizable airdrops that have come in the past. Or maybe you didn't miss out, but you didn't know what you were doing and you walked away with like 20 or $30 uh, just by accident. And so this video is to, it is to help you understand how to maximize your exposure to the reward pool so that you can walk away with five or six figures yourself. You do not need a big budget to start with, but it's easier to work with five to $10,000 if you're this late into an airdrop, but you should do this regardless, even if you have like hundred dollars to your name. And so now with that said, let's jump straight to the step by step process. So welcome to my computer. And first thing you'll need is a MetaMask wallet. If you do not have it, go to metamask.io and install the extension, follow the instructions on there. I'm not gonna go into it because I'm assuming that you already have one. If you don't, just side quest, go to YouTube, how to get MetaMask and just follow the simple steps. Now, once you have a MetaMask wallet, you do need to get a ZK Sync network inside of that MetaMask. And you do that by going to chainlist.org and searching for ZK Sync mainnet and you click add to MetaMask. I'm already connected um, because I'm shooting videos back to back. So I've already added a ZK Sync into my MetaMask and you can see it here. If I just click on the network, when you switch to ZK Sync, you'll probably have no balance now. Obviously, the next step is to get some balance on your wallet on the ZK Sync network. And you can do that two ways. And one is actually very simple, depending on if you have a Binance account. Because if you go to Binance, Binance will actually let you draw straight into a ZK Sync era network. So that's one option. Or a second option is by using the official bridge uh, on the ZK Sync, in the ZK Sync ecosystem, which is portal.zksync.io. So I've connected my wallet, but now I have no balance here. I only have uh, $5.50 on my ZK Sync network. So what I wanna do is I wanna find out where my funds are on which network. So I will go to a new tab and I'll put in dbank.com. Well, here you connect if you're not connected yet and you click on profile and here you will see that I have a total of $69. Nice. And 53 of that is on Polygon ZK EVM and $10 is on Ethereum network and on ZK thing I only have $6 there. And so because my funds are on Polygon ZK EVM, I'll bridge them from Polygon into ZK Sync era network. And I'll do that by going to rhino.fi. Uh, I'll click on launch app. I'll click on bridge. And you'll want to find the Polygon ZK EVM. Click on ETH. And you'll want to bridge that to ZK Sync Era. And we're not going to do max. So I'll just put 0 0.013, let's say. And or four. And $40 should uh, be sufficient. So now we're just gonna click on bridge. We have to switch network. So quickly do that. And it is going to be a very minuscule fee. And there we go. It's still pending here. So we're just gonna wait a little bit. And it seems to have gone through. Let me just double check on dbank. Let's refresh it here. And sure enough, I mean, it's gone from Polygon. Uh, it did not update yet on ZK Sync Era, so we're just gonna, okay, now it's gone through. So now we can finally start farming. So we've put some ETH on the ZK Sync Era chain on the ZK Sync Era network, and you need that because 
on ZK Sync, you pay fees in ETH. Uh, you pay transaction fees in ETH. So first order of business, we will go to Koi Finance. And we do that because you want to interact with as many dApps within the ZK Sync era ecosystem. So we will switch network to ZK Sync up here, which we are on, it seems. And now we will be swapping between ETH and different assets. So we can start with USDC. We'll just swap some $36. We pay $0.22 in fees. The swaps on ZK Sync are fairly cheap compared to, for example, Polygon ZK EVM. Now we will swap it back. We can swap the full balance because um, we don't need to leave any USDC behind. We're just gonna approve the cap. Boom, down. So right now we've done two transactions worth of $35 each, which means that we have created $70 worth of volume. Now we will swap into, say, USDT. Like, you don't have to use stable coins. I'm using them because they came up first on the selection. So we'll click on swap. And why am I doing this? Why am I swapping between, between different coins? The reason why is because you want to interact with as many smart contracts within uh, the dApp as possible. Now we're just going to swap it back in full amount. When you're farming an airdrop, it's not only about the volume. There are different criteria that matter. So one of the criteria is sure enough volume, meaning I'm swapping $35. You can do the same process with $1,000 and you'll be accumulating a lot more volume a lot quicker. But what also matters is the amount of smart contracts you interact with within the dApp, meaning Every single coin that I swap into or swap with counts as an extra con smart contract that I interacted with. So we will, we can choose, we can do Koi just because we're on a Koi platform. Um, 0.013 for 770 Koi. Another thing that matters is not just the volume and the amount of smart contracts, but also the amount of transactions that you perform on a particular chain. Now we're just gonna swap all the Koi back. Approve, we approve the spending cap, confirm the transaction, confirm the swap, and we should be done. So quick recap, volume doesn't really always matters that much. It's also about the number of transactions, the number of smart contracts you interact with, and also how long have you been doing this, like the frequency and the length of your interactions. Here's the tricky part. You never know which project will prioritize what criteria. And that's why sometimes even the biggest airdrop farmers end up dis being disappointed because for example, projects would only, would give priority to volume only. That means even if somebody came in a week before the snapshot, if they prioritize volume only, then even the person that came say a week before, but brought the biggest volume would end up walking away with the biggest portion of the reward pool, right? Whereas somebody who didn't bring as much volume, but was interacting with the project since its inception, sometimes it could be like a, for a year straight, uh, walked away with a lot less. Oftentimes you don't even know if there is going to be a, an airdrop, right? But it's um, that's sort of the risk you take as, as being an airdrop farmer. And the thing is, the industry has proven that it, it is a risk worth taking. So now we've interacted with Koi Finance and we have turned the Koi back to ETH. And so now I'll show you a little trick, a little secret sauce. We will go to a website called Dmail, mail.dmail.ai, and we are going to log in with our MetaMask wallet. And here we are going to compose an email and we are going to send it to airdrop university24 at gmail.com. And the subject is going to be 
ZK saying error transaction hack and we're gonna send it and it's going to ask us to approve a transaction of two cents and so why is this a hack it's a hack because it counts as a transaction on the network and you've only paid two cents to send it you've seen all the other transactions on koi finance have taken us uh, a lot more in gas now with dmail you can be processing transactions at a fraction of that cost if zk sync era will prioritize transaction volume then somebody who's been sending a lot of email with dmail will walk away with a bigger portion of the airdrop pool. So that definitely counts. And so the last thing we wanna do is we will go to RhinoFi and a really cool trick, what we wanna do here is we'll go to a tracker, select ZK Sync Era, unless it's, if it's not already in the selection and we're gonna click on find my score. And here we can see a really cool thing. So here it tells you your overall score, how you're doing in comparison to everybody else. Uh, farming. I'm not sure as to how accurate this is. I'm not sure how frequently it updates, um, but you can see that we've generated $574 worth of volume uh, over 34 transactions. And the last one was a minute ago, which is when I sent that email. And so this is really just one of the tools that can help you really advance really quick in farming these airdrops. And if you have any questions about the process, even about this airdrop, just comment below ask me, I'll be more than happy to help you out. So that was my detailed, somewhat detailed process of farming uh, ZK Sync era airdrop. And if you would like to get these tutorials, step-by-step -step tutorials, literally every single day for all the different airdrops, you need to visit airdropuniversity.com. It is my and my business partner's private community where airdrop farmers just like yourself farm every single day if you decide to join you'll be given all the tracking sheets you'll be given daily alerts sort of daily step-by-step -step guides uh, insider tips you'll be getting access to all of our tools i've shown you some here but there is more out there you'll be getting the the fast and learning curve because we've obviously gone through all the mistakes ourselves we've vetted a lot of tools and that's why I've decided to put the program together to essentially uh, allow anybody to really speed up their process of learning and applying the knowledge and earning a lot of money from airdrops. Remember, this is not skill only for the bull market. Most of the lucrative airdrops of 2023 were from projects that have been around all throughout the bear market. So the people that have stuck around and were clicking buttons all of 2022 and 2023 were the ones that most benefited from the increase of volume in the markets um, in anticipation of the Bitcoin halving cycle, which happened recently. So I hope you got a lot of value from this video. And if you did, please leave a comment below and let me just let me know your thoughts. And, I'll, and I hope to see you in the next one. Appreciate it.